In this screencast, we're going to take a look at how to embed a Google Calendar on the Franklin District website. Franklin District website is created with a program called Joomla, so there's some specific steps to follow here in order to make a calendar appear on the web page. Here's an example of what we're talking about. This is our Franklin District website. We are on the Forest Park Athletics page, and this is a Google Calendar that is embedded on the page, meaning that it, it shows up on the page. So you can see the events, you can actually click on them. Uh, if you needed to get more details, if there were more details to see about that specific event. So this is how you do that process. The calendar is first created in a Google account, and we have some resources available that show you how to use Google Calendar if you're interested in learning about that. So here I am signed into a Google account. I've gone to Calendar, and here are the different calendars that are in this account. I'm just going to show how to embed one calendar on the page. I'll point out uh, some tips with embedding multiple calendars as we go through this as well. So in this example we want to embed the volleyball calendar onto the volleyball web page. So here in Google Calendar I, I move down under my calendars and I find volleyball. As you mouse down, I can zoom in a little bit so you can see this here, as you mouse down there are little arrow, there's a little arrow that appears for each calendar. That's where you get to the settings for that calendar. So I'm going to click on the settings for the volleyball calendar and I'm going to go to calendar, or I'm sorry, I'm going to go to share this calendar. On the share this calendar page, in order to embed a calendar so others can see it, you first have to checkbox make this calendar public. So I checkbox that, I would hit save so that that saves. If you want to add other people to help manage the calendar that also have Google accounts, you can start typing their uh, Google account address here and then you get the choice of if you want them to be able to make changes to events, make changes and manage sharing, or only see the events. So if there's others that maybe a coach or um, a teammate, uh, you can add them individually here just like sharing a Google document. So after you make the calendar public, you're going to go to calendar details, a little tab up here. On the calendar details page, as you scroll down, it says the calendar name. There's, If you need to type a description, you can. Um, you don't have to. As you continue to go down, there's a choice for embed this calendar. And here's the code that's the embed code to make it so that the calendar appears on a web page. So what you would do is you would click in this cell to select the code. And if it, a tip for that is if you do a triple click of the mouse, it should select everything so you don't worry about dragging and selecting and missing something. I do copy, so I'm going to do Command C because I'm working on a Mac, or you could do Control C if you're working on a Windows machine. Then, over in the Joomla side of things, uh, you have to have access to be able to sign in to edit our district web page. I'm going to go to Article Manager. And while that's loading, I'll just show this. Currently, this is what the volleyball page looks like. I want to put the calendar right here. So when I'm looking at this, I'm just kind of make a, a mental note of where this is. So I see here's the 8th grade coach, here's the 7th grade coach. I notice there's a space here. So it looks like after the email for this coach is where I want to put the calendar. So I'm going to go over here and I've searched for volleyball. Here's the Forest Park volleyball information page. That's going to open. Now when I look at this here, I see the... I see the same thing I saw on the front end. So here's what it looks like displayed to the public. On the back end, here's where I could do editing. I could type text and whatnot. So this is about where I want to put the, the, uh, the calendar. In order to do this, I have to switch to the uh, source code mode in the editor. And I'll blow this up so you can kind of see this button here. This little piece of paper with the two brackets, that's how you see the source code for a page in Joomla. So let me put this back to normal. I'm going to click that button. Now this is going to change to all kinds of, of code. So this is all the code that makes the web page look the way it does. Very important to point out, and I'll blow this up here. In the code, a code works where it, a bracket starts and a bracket ends. So whenever you go into source code mode, you don't want to really mess with anything in source code mode other than paste what you need to to embed something and then get out. So I'm going to scroll down. I see here's eighth grade coach, as we looked at earlier, um, and seventh grade coach. Here's the text of what the seventh grade coach's email was. So here it looks like I can place the code 
right after the P. The P stands for uh, paragraph break or BR stands for line break. So I'm going to place my cursor in this open space. You can even put a few returns in if you're nervous about doing this and, and kind of give yourself some room to work. So I'm going to place my cursor. I'm going to do my paste. So I'm going to do Command V on a Mac or Control V on Windows. There's the code for that calendar. And that's all you have to do is paste the code in. Okay, so let me go back and toggle out of this. So I, I hit the source code button again. I'm back to normal mode. When you're in edit mode here, you'll notice that the calendar is just represented by a box. And that only that's how it displays in edit mode. I'm going to go up and I'm going to hit save. And you have now embedded the calendar on that page. And how we can see that that has worked is we go back to the front end. Let's refresh this page. And we should see the calendar is embedded. There it is. And so someone who comes to the page can click through if they want to look into February and this is the volleyball calendar. They can see when the tryouts are, when the games are, so on and so forth. So that is how you embed a single calendar in a Joomla page. Thanks for watching.